Manta Patur. Yeah. Is that very yeah. delicious? Yeah. Manta Patur? Yeah, Matur. Matur. Tahu patis. I'm a fan. This is a good one. Mm. Oh, it's spicy. Mm-hmm. I asked for a little spicy. I think I just ate a chili. We had such a good time, such good food in the Pache Noang neighborhood. We decided to continue eating street food in Jakarta. So we're in the Gamayoran neighborhood in Garuda Street, which is a long street known to have fantastic street food. And there's a spot here where we're gonna try three dishes. One is an East Java specialty. It's supposed to be amazing here. I'm not going to East Java this trip, but I can eat the flavors of the East Java on this street. All right. So we have to, uh, we're gonna try the, uh, this one. Tahu Tek Talor. Tahu Tek Talor. And that is from East Java? Yeah. Okay. And then this one. Is that vegetables? Yes. Rujak Singur. Chingur. 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 Yeah. That's right. C is ch. Chingur is uh, cow mouth. Oh, cow mouth or tongue? Mouth. Oh, tongue. cow mouth. Tongue? No, mouth. Oh, wow. Okay. Mouth, the lips. Oh, the lips. Cow yeah. lips. Yeah. All right. We're going to try this, which is cow lips. And then what else? And then this one. Tahu Petis. What's oh, that? But this means uh, shrimp paste. But this, this is different street food. All right, so we are at Chat Majid, which Chat means sir. It's what you address someone who's senior to you with. Or for women, you would say Ning. We are right on the street. They've got blasting music. There's a lot of energy in here, and I really hope that music does not get this video demonetized. So I'm just gonna keep talking. We are having East Java food, so the people here are from East Java, and in fact, Aloy speaks Indonesian, which everyone speaks, but also speaks Javanese because he grew up in Central Java and said that East Java, it's just a little bit different how you pronounce it. First dish we are having is called Tahu Petis. This is Tahu Petis, and what it is, is it's tofu that is split open and then shrimp paste is put in. And so it's a different kind of shrimp paste that maybe you would have and it actually looks different because it's quite dark, but it smells amazing. And of course there's a musician that's come by because I seem to attract a lot of the musicians and Aloy is very quick to give them a tip and then they move on. Let's give this a shot. All right. Mm. Mm, it's warm. Mm. Warm, soft tofu. This is sweet and salty. Yeah. Mm, this is really good. Definitely get that kind of fermented shrimp. Yeah. Yes. It's fermented shrimp. Yes. And you can get that kind of tangy flavor. Really good though. I don't know if I've ever had anything with this kind of flavor. But the fermented is really, really tasty. I like it a lot. And then this is just kind of nice and squishy. You have this at night. I think this would be nice for breakfast, even though nobody eats it for breakfast. Oh. Tahu patis. I'm a fan. This is a good one. It's not spicy at all. Aloy gave me this. I'm not eating it. No, I'm not eating it. I'm no fool. All right. The next Javanese dish we're going to have is called Tatu Tek Talor. Now, the nice thing about this spot is that it's so small that Anton, who was sitting right behind me, told me why it's called this. So I'm going to switch to that clip. Do you know the story why it's called Tahu Tech? No. No, because when we um, using the skechers to to cutting every ingredients, uh, like a tofu and then the lontong, we call lontong, we're using the skechers. So rest cake, yeah. So the sound is like tag, 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 yeah, just like that. So we call it Tautek. Yeah, that's the story. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. So it sounds like this. Tattoo tech sounds like tech, 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 tech. So that's it. Tech, 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 tech. Cool. When I first heard of this dish, I actually thought it was going to be a vegetarian dish because it starts off with you've got tofu, you've got scrambled eggs, it's in a peanut sauce, you've got these crispy crackers. 
However, there's one important thing that you need to know if you're a vegetarian, and that is it has cow's lips. That's right, not cow tongue, cow's lips. So this is not a vegetarian dish. Here we go right here, these big, you've got these big cow lips along with the tofu. I'm just gonna go straight in with the cow lips. Mm, oh, it's spicy. Mm -hmm. I asked for a little spicy. I think I just ate a chili. Oh, I think I just ate into a chili. Okay, I'm gonna try another piece because that was really, really tasty. Mm, very tender. I have to say, all of the awful, all of the pieces, the secondary cuts that I've had in Indonesia are really tender and that's because you know, it's a culture of always using everything. Nothing goes to waste. And so unlike in Canada and the United States where it's just become trendy to start using those secondary cuts, here they've been using it. People are making these dishes day in, day out. This is like the most tender beef you will ever have. Mm. Wow, it really melts in your mouth. I've never had lips before. Ooh, good. No. A little bit of tofu. The tofu is as tender as the, as the lips. That's how li the tender the lips are. Mm. This sauce is like a deep, rich, rich, rich peanut sauce. I am sweating from <laughs> those chilies. Mmm. Mmm, so good. I've got to find the egg. Soft scrambled. Yeah. Soft scrambled egg right in the middle. But actually, it's with tofu. Oh, it's good. Oh, I'm so, it's hot. I said just a little bit hot. Okay. And as I expected, you just crumble this over top because everything here is so soft. You need a little bit of a textural difference. Mmm. Oh, those crackers are good. Crackers definitely bring down that heat. Mm. Really, really good. Woo, but hot. It is hot. <laughs> now, I do feel a little bit vindicated because Aloy told me that that dish was also hot for him. So I think I just bit into one of the chilies, but he actually said it was a very hot dish. Third East Javanese dish we're going to try here. It's called Rujak Chingur, and it means mixed fruit. But the East Javanese version of this is a little bit different. It's not easy to find in Jakarta, and it also has cowlips. So I don't know why so many East Javanese things have cowlips, but they do. So I'm going to eat it in two different dishes. Now, this is cooked in a shrimp paste with banana and peanuts, and it also has fruit in here. So you've got the cowlips, you've got some cucumber, I see some young banana in here as well, some pineapple. I've got this, which is called a cracker. <laughs> they make that easy. Some things are hard to pronounce, but this is a cracker. I think I got everything there. Oh, it looks like there might be some bean sprouts as well. So, vegetarian except for the cowlips. Not spicy. They've told me this is not spicy. Will it be spicy? Padas? <laughs> Everyone's laughing. <laughs> All right. Oh, cucumber and some other fruit or vegetable. I don't know what it is. It's a little bit like gado gado in that it's mixed in a sauce. Yeah. And this sauce is different, so you're not entirely sure what you're eating. Not pedas. This is not spicy at all. That might be it. Very light, refreshing. It's really nice. Mmm, pineapple. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, pineapple's good. Indonesian pineapple is good. Mmm, so good. It's also spicy. Pedas, they are laughing at me. What is this spicy? My lips are burning. I've got sweat running down my back. Mm. This is the bang that I told you. All right, here is this. It's so hot. It's very light. It almost tastes like a bland pear, like water, or like a po sweet potato. Woo. Guys, my mouth is on fire. I can't eat anymore. I'm dying. East Japanese food. 
they're laughing. I keep telling them it's spicy and they're like, yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, mango, oh, mango? Okay, mango. Not mango. Not mango? No, just more spiciness. Mmm, whoa, it's spicy. Mango. Ooh, next time I'm gonna say no spice. So a lot of people think that this is from uh, Samarang, but it's actually from Lamor... Lamohan. Lamongang. Babat. 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 Lamon... Lamonang. G's and N's are very difficult to say. I, I don't know what part of my mouth that I'm supposed to be using, but as soon as I hear that ang, I, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep trying to learn these words. Okay, so I decided to try this Indonesian dessert. It's called Winko. It's from East Java. She makes a hundred of these a day and sells a hundred a day. They're 50 cents each and they're made with rice flour, coconut, and sugar. And rice flour, just three ingredients, that's it. The texture is a little bit spongy. I can smell the coconut from here. It really smells like coconut. Oh, I think this is gonna be good. Mmm, it's like glutinous inside. It has, mmm, it's almost like a, yeah, it's very glutinous. Mmm, spongy chewy, it's really good. Manta patul. Yeah. Is that very yeah. delicious? Yeah. Manta patul? Yeah, matul. Matul. Really, really good. It's very fresh. If you, if you she makes them daily. If you buy it in a gift shop, it mm -hmm. may be already two or three days. But it's made every day. These are made every morning. They're so good. Very light, not sweet at all. Just like fresh coconut flavor. Mmm. What I like about Indonesia is that desserts here are not too sweet. There's not like a huge sweet tooth. Food can be a little bit sweet and spicy, but the desserts aren't too sweet, which I really like so far. Maybe some other places it's gonna be really sweet. So far, not too sweet, it's really good. Here they have a lot of different uh, teas you can try. So sweet tea, regular tea, uh, lime, curcuma, ginger, Turmeric, and then this one is a mix of all of them. And all served with ice. All served with ice because the food here is hot. One of the things I love about here is that everybody likes to joke around, have a good laugh. It really also inspires me to learn more words so that I can actually interact with people because they're so fun. So, what I would say about this place, I love it here, great atmosphere, very friendly owners, um, even the people who come in, they're really, really nice, everybody's really chatty, you're kind of in close together, I really like that part of it. East Japanese food, I just learned, is known to be spicy, spicier, and then also salty, so that's where you get that shrimp taste, that saltiness from that. So if you're going to have anything, don't ask for medium, did we ask for medium? I asked for medium thinking that it was like regular medium. I would say regular medium is hot, but all three dishes I really liked. Next time I'm just gonna ask for like a little bit because nose is running back. But yeah, really great experience overall. I am ending this video here. It's been quite the adventure. It does make me want to see more of um, East Java, which is Sabang. Yeah. Sabang is the biggest city there so maybe we'll see and when I go I will be prepared I will know not to ask for medium just to ask for mild spice because that the tongue is on fire see you guys later if you like this video please give it a like and subscribe and I will have more videos of food in Indonesia for you and maybe the next one it might also be of street food Join my Patreon community for more behind the scenes and exclusive content you won't find elsewhere. You can also find me on Instagram and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All of these things make my day. Thank you so much for your support.